Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to change MariaDB data directory. In previous video, while uh, we were installing uh, MariaDB, we see that uh, we have provided some path and uh, we created some database. Uh, those databases were created in data directory. And uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to change the location uh, or folder location uh, where the databases should be created. Uh, so there are already some databases which are created. We will move them as well. Now, we will learn uh, how to find uh, the current or default data directory location. We'll learn how to stop the MariaDB that is MySQL. Uh, the service name is MySQL service. We will uh, see uh, how the my INI file uh, that's where the location of the data directory is. Uh, we will update to the new folder and uh, we will move all the files to the new folder, restart the uh, MariaDB service uh, that's uh, called MySQL service and we will validate by creating some databases and inserting the data. Now, first of all, let's go to the service and take a look where exactly is our configuration file is for default directory so here i'm going to click on the list and then press m so right here that's mariadb service the name of the service is my sql it is running right now if i will right click here and go to properties i can see some information so path to executable so that's where the executable is and uh, here are some uh, parameters. So we see that uh, default, and that's where our my.ini file, uh, this file contain uh, the information about our data directory. So let's go ahead and open this file. Copy, open a folder location. And uh, right here, the, my INI file is uh, first of all I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy so I'm gonna copy and paste and uh, this is our uh, backup in case uh, something messed up uh, we can use this one now the very first step before we change the data directory or uh, start opening uh, uh, my data and INI we can stop the service uh, but we can open without that if you would like to go ahead and take a look uh, we can edit and here is the data direct location so c program files mariadb 10.2 and then there is a data uh, directory or uh, folder that's where all the uh, data is written right now so i'm gonna go ahead and paste right here open this location sorry now you see that uh, it's already actually open so sorry I was trying to open uh, re reopen it we don't need to open it and uh, you see that uh, that's where uh, mysql performance tech brother test and all databases uh, are written uh, in this directory i would like to create uh, a new directory i don't have a uh, uh, multiple uh, disks uh, i have only c drive so i'm going to go ahead and uh, put it here maybe just on the c uh, on the root i'm going to go ahead and say mariadb db that's the folder i would like to put uh, the data now let's uh, stop the service right click and we say stop the very next step is uh, updating our ini file so that's uh, um, uh, my.ini file so you can see right here and that's the location we have to update um, so you see that our new location is uh, c mariadb and we will put the data folder there so mariadb and uh, we will have a data folder in this uh, folder mariadb so let's uh, hit uh, control s so this file is saved but the thing is we do not have uh, any data or ex we have some existing databases uh, which are right uh, here so we go to the c program files mariadb and that's where the data is uh, so what we would do we'll copy the whole thing so i'm going to copy the entire data folder go to c go to new location uh, so that's mariadb and uh, paste it here so now our all the databases and other um, files are right here this uh, file will not be really used uh, if you want to delete it you can go ahead and delete uh, uh, the actual file the configuration file still will be used uh, from this uh, program files and maria 10.0 so i'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, this is still uh, this file will be used uh, as you have seen uh, in the service uh, so that's the default location uh, uh, right here and we can change this one if we want but I don't really recommend the change in uh, uh, this part let it be there so it but uh, uh, um, inside that uh, my.ini file uh, will be pointing to the new location so new location is the 
C, MariaDB and data. That's where it is. We have saved it. We close it. Now in the C, MariaDB, I told you, we really don't need uh, these uh, uh, INI files because they are not used. We can delete them. And now we can go ahead and start the service. So there would be some error actually. I was experimenting just before. So this uh, error, uh, I tried to figure it out. What is the error? But C could not start the MySQL service on local computer. Error 1067. The process termi terminated unexpectedly. Unexpect now I check, uh, I, I try to um, start the service from a uh, command line. I got the same type of error. Then I checked the event viewer. I said, okay, let me see the details. details. So let's open that one and go here and uh, you go to system and uh, you can see that uh, MySQL uh, service terminated the same error what we have seen there there is not a whole lot of details so let's click on detail and uh, I try to find out uh, the detail but uh, um, I was not really able to get that information like what exactly is uh, going on um, the only thing I figured out by myself like okay as I have created the folder there could be possibility the folder the permissions are not there so as you see that my SQL service is running with the network service then what I did I went to the folder MariaDB right here right click here and went to properties and provided the permission now I'm gonna provide the permission to the all users so users and uh, full control so depends uh, on uh, once you create the folder uh, I would recommend provide the permissions uh, so at least uh, the service can get to this folder and uh, uh, write the data and all that so once I did that uh, I was able to start uh, my SQL service uh, so you guys can see that uh, my SQL uh, service is started now we go to the uh, search here my SQL client I'm gonna open that one let's uh, provide the password for root and then uh, we are gonna validate uh, sorry and still you can see that uh, this is uh, on top of that you see that mysql client uh, mariadb yeah this is uh, where the executable is uh, mysql.exe and uh, your default path uh, it is uh, still uh, uh, that's where it is reading the configuration uh, so you have a uh, uh, c program files mariadb 10.2 data and my INI file and it also tells you you are connecting with the root okay so if we will say say show databases it shows us five databases now according to the new location that's our new location and that's where the data is if I create a database the database should be created here in the new location so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new database so create database and uh, let's call this one my DB and enter and you see that uh, my DB is created right uh, here let's uh, use this my DB and now create a table create table test or we call it tech brothers and then ID and uh, let's uh, say integer and name worker 100 and it should create a table now if we go to the mydb and here you can see that the two files are created for the tech brothers table we can insert the data quickly only one line insert into tech brothers and the value should be one and I'm going to put the name Amir and I have to type the keyword values and that's all and now I'm gonna hit enter one row is inserted select star from tech brothers and it should show us one record you see that the data is coming in this new location so mariadb data and then we have our database mydb here if we go back to the c program files and just to check that if the database is created there or not you can see that my database is uh, not created here so you can let simply we have a no we don't see my db here we have mysql that is not my db so just uh, uh, you want to make sure so you don't have uh, any more databases come in here you can create another database so let's say create uh, exit 
and then uh, um, if you want to log in uh, back or you say mysql u root and minus p provide the password and uh, you say create database test one okay so you can see that the test one is not created uh, in the old location uh, so we can go back here and see mariadb data and that's where it should be so that's that's uh, validated correctly Okay, good luck uh, with the change in uh, the default path or the current path of your uh, data directory in MariaDB to new location. And the uh, steps are again uh, kind of right here. Okay, you find the service, uh, and in the service, you go and check that where your my.ini file is. You stop the service, then go to the my.ini file, update to the new location, and then uh, um, as uh, your service is already stopped, uh, so you can move, move uh, all the existing uh, uh, databases uh, files, uh, and then uh, you will uh, give the provide the pro uh, uh, permission uh, on the new folder which is required by the service account, uh, and then restart the MySQL service uh, and kind of validate creating a database or inserting some records. Uh, uh, thanks very much for watching this video. Subscribe and like. I will see you guys uh, in next video.